Amanda? Dawson. It's been a long time. 20 years. 21. But who's counting? A story like this hinges on the chemistry of the two leads, and so Michelle and I made a point to really get to know one another early on. <laughs> I am so excited to be working on Nicholas Sparks' movie. Parker! Thanks for your help. Yeah, sure. And so it begins, Nicholas Spark style on set of Best of Me. Dawson and Amanda fall in love, becoming high school sweethearts. Look at you. Then life circumstances tear them apart for two decades, but then unexpectedly, their relationship is rekindled. Never had the opportunity to be a part of a, a, a real timeless love story, and this is exactly that. It's so beautiful, and it's filled with love and loss and hope and tragedy. Hmm, so that's it. Love plus loss plus hope plus tragedy. That's the film formula to the novelist's $492 million box office success. Someone once said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny. Dear John, The Last Song, Safe Haven, and of course, The Notebook all have these elements. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Do you want this? Do you want me? I do. And then there's an epic rain kiss, a serene southern backdrop in Louisiana. You'd think you were on the set of Notebook 2 with newcomers Liana Liberato and Luke Bracey. I mean, really, James Marsden cast just 10 years after he first melted our hearts as Lon. Marry me. Make me the happiest man in the world. You couldn't have gotten bald or fat or something. Jesus. <laughs> I miss this. So we asked Nicholas, the man himself, is this basically another Notebook? For me, it really explores uh, the theme of what if second chances, because to me, people in their um, 40s are kind of at this juncture in life. So there I was in the midst of my 40s going through all this, and I wanted to write a novel that explored that. And so this is the story that, that has all of those elements. The what if, who am I, why am I this way? And most importantly, is this the kind of life I want to lead the rest of my life, this, journey, this path that I'm on? Now, how do you make that interesting? Well, let's throw in a great love story. Let's go back in time and let's see why it becomes such a profound choice. So it's a two-part story, kind of like The Notebook, but entirely different at exactly the same time. I lost you once. I'm not gonna lose you again. 